hi all my name is prakash in our last video we have learned how we can enter in rescue and emergency mode in rhl7 or troubleshooting the system generally for entering in rescue and emergency mode we do not need any password but there is a way we can secure our emergency and rescue mode by setting up a password so this is what we are going to learn today how we can secure our rescue and emergency mode by authentication uh, let's see uh, this is our centos 7 machine this is the console of that machine first we will take a putty of our machine ip is 104 let me increase the font size make it 18 I log in through root. As you can see, CentOS 7 machine. So in RHL 6, that grub file is located in boot grub grub dot cfg. But here in RHG 7, the location is a bit different. Grub 2 and grub dot cfg. So this is our graph file in RHL 7 and is quite different compared to RHL 6 and there is one more location for the graph file is etc graph2.cfg So these are the two locations for the graph file so the file which we are uh, going to add it and uh, the file which on which we are make, going to make changes is etc grub.d here the file name is 40 underscore custom this is the file where we will set uh, username and password i'll delete that old entry this is my old practice entry the syntax of setting up a username password is set super users equal to let me consider the username is prakash password here we will give the password for that user username and password so this is the simplest way we can give, define our username here this is the username and uh, we can give the password as password is added right here and if you want your password to be more secure or more encrypted form there is one way, there is one more way to set the password is you can generate that encrypted password mkpasswd this is the command through which you can generate red hat red hat so this command will give you the encrypted password you copy that encrypted password and copy in the same file instead of red hat you can use that encrypted password but in case you are using that encrypted password there is one more uh, changes you need to make is ppk df2 so this is the syntax if you are using for encrypted password we'll save this file now uh, we have made the changes in 40 under store custom file but the changes is not reflected in the grub.cfg so uh, for that uh, we will just take a copy of first grub file grub2 grub.cfg to tmp let me override it some file is already exist so now we took the backup of our existing file now we'll generate a new grub file uh, with the new configuration which we made and for generating a new file the command is grub2 hyphen mk config hyphen o we'll generate a new file in home directory and the name of the file will be grub.cfg this command will generate a new co configuration file new grub file with all the changes which we have made so if you see this file now and grab our the changes like Prakash's username was there you can see that new changes is reflected in the new file so now we will copy this new file into boot our default directory boot 
scrub to scrub dot cfg and will replace with the old one. So this is what uh, we need to make a changes. Now we'll try rebooting the system and we'll see that our grub or emergency and rescue mode is secure or not. Let's reboot the system. Left side you can see the console of the system. So we are on initial screen now. I'll press small e to edit the kernel. So this time is asking for username and P R A Prakash and the password is Red Hat. So as you can see, we have entered into that uh, initial grub screen. So here uh, you can define the parameter if you want to boot with the system with the rescue mode or emergency mode. So in my last video, we have shown how we can boot the system in emergency mode. So this is the location. At this location after quit, this is the location we can define system D dot unit equal to rescue dot target now control x so this was the way uh, we can uh, secure our emergency and uh, rescue mode with some passwords generally as i mentioned we do not require any password but by setting up the password in 40 underscore custom file we can give the more security to our rescue and emergency mode. Thank you, thank you for watching the video. Thanks a lot.